Hi, I'm Kimberly. Welcome to Simply Living in a Small Town. I hope everybody's had a great weekend. Uh, today is Tuesday, and this is going to be the Coffee and Chat um, episode for the week. Um, and I'm, well, and I also have some, or have a Happy Mail, I assume, package. So, I <laughs> um, hope everybody's doing well. I want to welcome everyone back. And if you're newly watching, um, like this is your first time or whatever, I welcome you as well. So it's been a gloomy kind of a day here, pretty much. It's supposed to rain like the next three days. So it was supposed to rain and it did rain a little bit here today, but not too badly, thankfully, like it was supposed to. But of course, every time they say that, you never know um, what's really if it's, you know, because they've been saying like it's going to rain all day and all night and then it doesn't. But that's not a complaint on my part because I don't want it to rain all day and all night. So, but, um, so yeah, it's just been kind of overcast, gloomy day. And then, um, yesterday was great. And last, the Monday before last was great. And then we had like all, rain you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, last week. So, but, and then yesterday, like, um, was the eclipse. So that, um, that was very interesting. <laughs> we sat outside and of course, and watched that. And, um, I, I pretty much like when, um, it started becoming bright again, the sun became visible again. Like I started feeling um, a migraine and just sick to my stomach and weak and it was not good. So <clears throat> I ended up coming in and laying down on the couch for like 30 minutes because I really felt like really rough. And I even um, last night, I just, I felt like, you know, I went to sleep like earlier and I just was extremely tired. So I had a rough time after that yesterday. I'm not sure, but, um, so there was that, but that was pretty neat. And I do hear rain now that I started talking about the weather because <laughs> it hasn't been raining and now it's, it's sprinkling, but that's okay. So, <clears throat> you know, it is, it is spring. So, you know, that's kind of, um, you know, it's, April showers bring May flowers or so, so. Yeah, now I hear the rain getting louder, so. So that's pretty normal this time of year. Um, well, yeah, <laughs> basically. Oh no, now it's really gonna pour. So, um, <laughs> this is not gonna be a long video or anything. I was just trying to get this done. So I got the happy mail yesterday I wanted to kind of do a video yesterday, but with that yesterday, and then I just felt, y'all, I didn't want to do anything the rest of the day. So that was just, no, <laughs> I thought, well, I'll just do it tomorrow. So I do have tons and tons of crochet stuff I'm working on. So there will be like quite a few things for the Wednesday whips tomorrow, quite a few things for the Friday FOs, because I know I have one thing almost done. Well, I think a couple of things actually, but, um, so that I will have quite a few things for that. So it's exciting. Um, I did frog the top. Um, there was a couple, or well, there was a couple of people or a few people had commented about that and uh, from the Friday FOs video and I did frog the top. I decided to frog it. Um, cause I was just, I was just not happy with that at all, basically. So it's fine. Um, I like it frogged quicker than I thought I could do it. And I had already jumps, like jumped back in it immediately after. And y'all, it looks like it looks so much better. So, um, I'm thrilled with that. And y'all get to see that this week. So that's one of, uh, the things I'm working on. One of the crochet projects I'm working on whips. Um, like I said, I had several. And now, speaking of the weather, so last week we also had a tornado warning last week. And her and I sat in the bathroom for about an hour last week while um, 
you know, waiting that out because there was a warning out and there was um, a tornado spotted and had, well, it was in our area, so it was spotted in our area and then, but there was that touched down and it's kind of, I want to say maybe like 20 minutes from here or something, I saw some of the pictures on Facebook and whatnot of like um, some person's whole barn got torn down. I guess it was a fairly new barn and that and a horse that really got um, wounded very badly. A couple of horses actually, but one of them got wounded so badly that it had to be, it had to be put down and that was just the pictures where I wouldn't even show her. I just told her about it because I, it was, it was so bad. I mean, but I mean, I, that whilst that's sad, I am grateful that like our community was pretty, we didn't have any tornadoes here and there wasn't like, I don't think mass amounts of damage like some have caused in the past. There are, I'm trying to think, I know there was one, this has been quite a few years ago in a town about maybe 30 minutes from me, about 20 to 30 minutes away from me. And that actual town got um, all torn up at that point um, by tornado. So, I mean, we, we were very blessed and fortunate that, you know, everybody was okay. Um, I don't know of anybody else that, again, that really got, it wasn't like, um, it wasn't as bad as like, you know, it could have, in other words, possibly been. So we're very very grateful for that part. So there's that. But yeah, we sat in the bathroom. I think it actually about an hour and a half. And I was we were sitting in the bathroom eating our chili, like <laughs> just you know, kind of communed in there, sitting and yeah, just so <laughs> pretty much just hanging out. Um. So yeah, I'm thankful that that was not worse than it actually was. Um, and now this little feline here, Frosty, that he's, I guess, intent now on being in these videos because every time I come up here now to like set my stuff up, he's immediately, of course, he's very bonded and attached to me. So there's that, but he is like wanting to be up here and, and in the, yeah, he's wanting to be up in all this. Like, <laughs> he is um, checking everything out. So, and then Oreo, you can't see him either, but he's the black and white cat that we acquired from our previous neighbor. He's actually stretched out over here on the floor too. So, um, I'm trying to think anything else. I mean, it has just been... Things have actually just, it's, I guess this is what's weird for me, y'all. I'm going to say this. So, I have had a lot going on and just with, you know, obviously remodeling the way I work, everything I'm trying to accomplish and do is a lot and I'm trying to get her through, um, currently like online schooling basically. So, I'm like the teacher now, so there's that going on. And it's just um, a lot of stuff, but you know, um, I, the difference is, is y'all, I've been for, so my house burnt down like almost three and a half years ago. And I've been so late, uh, I can't speak. I've, <laughs> I've been so used to this whole, um, just constant weight and pressure on me to such extreme. And like literally living in a survival mode that recently it's like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it's weird. Like the last, um, about week or so, you know, I'm like, it's just like, because things have changed so much because these other things lifted off of me and those things are, you know, like done for, well, so to speak. So it's like, um, it's just like a huge weight's lifted off me. And I have noticed I have been feeling like a lot of, um, 
I've been feeling tired a lot and I'm needing more sleep because I've been still working my tail off doing other stuff. You know, that's just, that's kind of just who I am and how I am. And anybody that like knows me or is around me, like knows that like, yeah, I'm kind of a little bit of masochist in that sense because <laughs> not really, but it's, you know, I, I work, I just work, 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 work. I do a lot. And that's just every day. And now it's like, I'm still working, but it's in a different sense. And then I'm trying to work that in with my other work. And I'm just, anyway, it's, it's like, I don't have these critical, I mean, like earth shattering things that it seems like I got to take care of tomorrow. So it, it's just, um, I kind of don't, I, <laughs> I, so I'm just like, yes, this, everything is readjusting right now. And my life is trying to, um, you know, things are changing and it's great, but I'm just, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I do, but <laughs> it's just, um, I, I'm just not used to it. You know, I got used to that other way, even though that was not a completely not good for me and was completely unhealthy for me and all that. So it's just wild though, but I am feeling tired a lot um, recently because I am still, again, I'm still hustling, working in the ways that I can work. And yeah, that does mean I take like a million breaks if I do. Now today, I haven't done as much, I will tell you, and yesterday, because yesterday, I don't know, y'all, after that eclipse, I was like sick. <laughs> I felt sick. So <laughs> that was like, yeah, I laid down on the couch for 30 minutes and then the rest of the day and I got up and made dinner and everything like, you know, um, just like normal, but I, I didn't, I still was like dragging. I didn't feel good. So today has been slower and I just kind of needed that. I'm just, I'm like not a hundred percent today, but definitely better. I definitely feel better. And it's like, I've kind of been holding myself back today too, because I keep thinking about things. Oh, I should do this. Oh, I should do that. And then I'm like, no, I should not because I'm like, I have that zest. I want to go and, and do these things. But on the other, the flip side of that is like, I know me and I can easily overdo it. And I'm like, no, sister, you're holding yourself back because we're not doing that today. Like that's, I'm just, no, I can't, I have to. I have to even have boundaries with myself, if that makes sense, because like I really, even in the morning when I get up, you know, I get up and it's hard for me to like, um, when I first get up, I don't really want to feel like I'm get going, but I, you know, I start moving around, make my coffee and all the stuff, you know, and I, then like, they're just, as a point which it's like shifting gears in a vehicle and I'm just <laughs> like I'm going forward and I'm moving faster and I'm you know getting <laughs> in the hustle of the morning or whatnot and so I'm getting in my rhythm for the day and so I have to again you know I get very overzealous in wanting to do things and wanting to accomplish things of a day so I have to um I have to hold myself back at times and just tell myself like, you know, it's okay. You can take care of that tomorrow. And I even did some of that over the weekend. There was, um, it seems like the weekend y'all, I have too much even to do on the weekend because it's like, that's when I, I feel like I, I need to go pick up stuff from the store, from that store, this store, groceries, whatever. I'm just, I don't know. You get to the end of the week and you need, you know, all the stuff, you know, at least once a week or well, to a certain extent, there's certain things, you know, you need. So, and I just kind of, even over the weekend, I didn't, um, I tried not to overdo it anyway. So there's that. I mean, you know, I am human and I tell myself all the time, well, including my husband, I just had a conversation with him the other day. Like I keep telling him, Hey, I'm not a dang robot. Like I am not a robot. I am a person, <laughs> you know, I wish I could. Yeah, I know. Be like the Jetsons and 
you know, the robot that's running around doing everything, but I just, I can't, so, and nobody, nobody can, you know, I mean, it's a nice thought, but nobody can, so, so anyway, we shall see what's in this box, so, I will say I did open the box before I brought it up here, now, I did not look in it yet, I just merely, you know, you can see that it's open because I, I cut it open downstairs. Because I just cut it open with a knife real quick and I didn't want to bring a knife upstairs. So, well, yeah, at the moment. So, <laughs> so I did cut it open. I just have not looked into it or anything yet. So, I do not know who this is from. I mean, I think I know who it's from. Okay, don't get me wrong, but I don't know for certain. So, let's see what's in here. Okay, this says, keep your gift a surprise and wrap your present before opening this uh, envelope. And it's got something inside of it. I'm not going to look in this yet, but this is the, on that. So, there's something in here, though, in a bag. So, <laughs> this is cute. That's a very pretty, I love blue. Isn't that beautiful? So, it looks like this is Amazon. Oh, that is very sweet. It says, okay, it, the, so there's a little card, and it says, Hi, Kimberly, from T at Bountiful Crochet Creations. Just a little something that I wanted to gift you for just, for just being you. Enjoy your gift from T, and that is, that's very sweet. Very, very sweet. Okay, so let's see what's in here. There's, it's, it's boxes at the bottom. <laughs> that is so sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love that. So it is a winder, yarn ball winder. I'm going to just do that so y'all can see it. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I should have brought the knife up here now to cut this tape. Thank you so much. So I truly appreciate this because I don't have one of these and I I can really use one of these right now. <laughs> I just rolled up that whole, well, you, um, yeah, the week before that little red and it's like, was like red with kind of different, kind of tonal, kind of a tonal red. That's what I'm trying to say, y'all, that I just balled up by hand. And that, like, yeah, and I've still got, like, two more hanks down there that I need to straighten out because it's like a mess. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can open this with my finger now. <laughs> Watch out. I don't know. Do I have anything? No. I don't have anything on my table. Hang on. I think my nail, what little bit of nail I have, I think. <laughs> it's almost, oh, is almost, well, yeah, there we go. I actually, can you believe, I have like, you know, see, I have like no nails. Yeah, I mean, I just painted them, but I have like, they're, I, I, I never have like, I keep my nails very short because I do too much stuff with my hands to like, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay. Ah. Okay. I don't want to pull all this out of here because that scissors. Oh, that's so cool. That's those little. I've seen these before, like this, and I've wanted to get a set of these. Oh, wait. There are these little, little scissors like that, and then it has a, <clears throat> that, that goes over it. That's, that is so nifty. I love it. Love it. That's awesome. Okay, so I don't want to take, I'm afraid to like take all this out because they had it in here such a way that it just, it like just literally fits in the box. So I'm gonna try to show y'all here. 
minus the scissors. <laughs> minus the scissors I could have used on the outside of the box. Just kidding. <laughs> so here's how it's all in the box. Let's see why I don't want to. I don't want to pull all that out because I don't want to. Um, because then I won't be able to put it back in the box. I don't want to take this downstairs and put it together. So this will be. This will be fun. Yeah, and then there's a paper at the bottom. So I do not want to pull yet all that out yet. But this, I don't think it'll be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad to put together. So I'm guessing, I'm wondering if this is like, because I don't know y'all, I've never had a yarn winder. If these are like for different, is that like for different sizes? I'll have to look at the paper. I know, read the instructions first, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, T. That is amazing. And I, again, I I truly appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. And I can really, truly need, uh, use this, I meant. <laughs> and that is, yeah, that is wonderful because I can actually use it right away. So I did not expect that. So sweet. So I'm going to put all this back together. And actually, this had... Let me see if this says, okay, this says the same thing the little card said, so this is a little piece of, the little piece of paper with the note, so that is so cool, so sweet. I'm actually going to stick that yeah, in here. Yes, I have tons of stuff to work on, but I, I literally have those two gorgeous plum hanks from Claire um, that I got in Happy Mail, and they are just gorgeous. Um, and the one is, well, one or both of them is currently like a mess. <laughs> so, yes, I have been telling myself I got to dig that out because I definitely want to... Um, fix that so I can work on that uh, it's a I think it's called spring or summer cardigan anyways that I was started with that I know which I know what tutorial or or what not that it is so I mean I remember that um, what it was but I can't remember if it was called spring or summer but definitely want to get that straightened up and go back to that so and the red y'all have to see what I'm doing with that so I did of course run out of the red um, because like there wasn't that much of it, which was fine. That red is gorgeous, y'all. Like I love red anyway. I love lots of different colors. I mean, I really just love color. Like I just, I'm a, I'm just a color lover, but especially like I like wearing red and stuff, but I, I used up all that ball. That is so gorgeous. So I have um, worked on that till I can't anymore, basically, and y'all will get to see that tomorrow. That has turned out, like, gorgeous. The red is gorgeous. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm trying to think what else. Um, and the cinnamon stitches top from last Friday that, of course, I did frog, and y'all will get to see that. And then also the other top, from that same knockout crop top um, tutorial, the I had another one I started, so y'all get to see that as well. <laughs> so now we're up to four. I'm like trying to think what else I have. Like, I mean, I've just been working on a bunch of different things, but I am like, I feel like I'm getting back in my rhythm again, so I feel thrilled. I think she's trying to get me to end the video here. Like, she told me, y'all, she told me she had to come up here and uh, she wanted to know what was in, in my in my Happy Meal box. And I said, well, um, she said, she told me she had to be in the video or whatever. And I said, no, you don't. You can sit on the sidelines. And she said, no, she had to be in the video to see what I got. <laughs> Anyway, so I guess now she got to see what I got. So, <laughs> oh gosh, that's because I did allow her to look in the box, y'all. 
after I did cut it open a while ago before I brought it up here, I did tell her she could look in the box to see what it was, you know, but I wasn't going to look in it. She told me, she says, we can't see anything because there's a, a box in there. <laughs> so, yeah, that was why she had to be in the video. So, anyway, I am going to continue. Oh, no. Now cats are trying to do whatever here, so I definitely need to end the video. <laughs> this is a little aggressive kitty that's, well, he's a little bit aggressive. He's... He's gotten extremely better, but he's still a little bit. He just chased the other one, although he could have, like, literally. I guess it's okay because I don't hear. I can see one of them at least, and he's fine. So, the one that I was actually worried about anyway. For now. Well, for now. So, anyway, I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and <laughs> end this video. T, thank you so much. I, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much again. So, I will see y'all tomorrow for Wednesday Whips. I got to get back to my whipping and <laughs> on my crochet, that is. And I will see y'all tomorrow. God bless. Bye now.